Good morning. Welcome to one of the fabulous beaches of North Down, just on my doorstep, which I'm really grateful for. Um, <clears throat> this is going to just be a quick Facebook Live because uh, I'm just going for my walk and it's nice to have it quiet. I'm doing a lot of nice meditation while I'm walking, which is great. But my shout out, quick shout out this morning is for Amanda Grace, the artist based in Sligo, who kicked off this um, walk every day. I don't think she'd necessarily call it a challenge, but she started about a couple of months ago walking every day for 30 minutes, just setting herself that challenge just because it cleared her mind and helped her. Um, she's an amazing advocate for mental health and self-care and um, she says she's been in recovery from shame. I think a lot of us <laughs> not quite in recovery yet, but getting there. So anyway, um, so Amanda started this, uh, this thread on her uh, Facebook group, Pilgrims on Deck. She's Pilgrim Soul on Facebook. And uh, to just walk 30 minutes every day. And it's not an accountability thing. It's more a chance to share that with other people that you're you're investing in yourself, and um, and it's not to be used to beat one beat each other up or beat yourself up if you miss a week, miss a day. But I've been out on day four now of this of this cycle of walks, and I find it so wonderful. I've even started writing haiku, probably not very well but I might share one at some point. Um, yeah, so Amanda and I have had an internet conversation. We haven't met in the flesh yet. I'm dying to get down to Sligo and see her workshop. She teaches uh, journaling. She does these journaling workshops called Raw. And she has just announced that she is actually going to be doing a journaling workshop in Oakland, California in September. Um, she's touring around Ireland doing them this summer um, I'm hoping she'll come up north at some point as well um, so check her out Amanda Grace so you can follow her on Instagram and she's Pilgrim Soul or Pilgrims on Deck is the group on Facebook I have a lot of time for this woman she's fierce she doesn't mince her words she's upfront but she has the gentlest heart and um, I really value her insights and her tenacity and her honesty and her determination to be her, be at her best, um, both mentally, spiritually and physically. She's also a, um, uh, she also uses doTERRA oils and she's a, a touch a click person or I've forgotten the word. Um, for doTERRA and she actually she, she sold me some oils there a while ago and they were they're really quite something and she really knows her stuff about them so if you're interested in looking into doTERRA oils there she's a great person to go to because she's very she really understands the the company she's very committed to the company uh, and and to the high level of um um, authenticity and transparency that they are committed to. So, Robin Susanna in France. Hello, my darling. Bonjour, bonjour. Comment ça va? This is my beach. <laughs> um, so, this is my beach. This is my walk. Um, and it's thanks to Amanda Grace that I'm out here. I'm really grateful to her for the... just for the space that she's created for people to just invest in themselves and invest in I wish you're walking with me too Robin seriously we've got to get you over here girl um, let me show you my my view and uh, let me see if I can do this there's my beach which I'm in love with all I need now is the dog but I've got my eye on one, so we'll see what happens there. So over the next uh, couple of weeks, it'll be 
um, end of term. Everybody's kind of limping to the end of the school year. Uh, I know I'm looking forward to not having to hustle three kids out of the house every, every morning. But then there will be eight weeks. Um, can I? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Robin, don't weep. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so end of term is coming and um, uh, my kids are out of school end of June and we're just chilling for the summer. We don't have any major plans. And so things might be a bit quiet on my site. I'll dip in now and again and I'll uh, maybe try and write some blog posts. But my focus really is to just kind of be around for my family this summer. Um, uh, because it's been kind of crazy the last six months with the show and everything. Um, but it's, yeah, it's been a hectic time. And, and one of the things I know I'm not entirely consistent on the website and the blogging and all that I'm working on a few little tweaks trying to sort out getting out my um podcasts I have a list I keep saying that I have a list of people that I want to get onto the podcast and start interviewing there's some amazing local women local crafters local business women who are who are just I think you all should know and um uh, I'm going to try and maybe spend uh, some time over the summer getting uh, getting those podcasts down. Uh, but over the next few weeks, I'm just going to be releasing the ones that are already there, just reminding you guys that they're there to listen to. Because, you know, summer is a crazy time. And for those of us with children, trying to maintain any kind of creative life can be tricky and challenging. But I reckon if you even have a little something to listen to in the background while you're making the dinner that could be helpful and just give you a little bit of oomph um, and keep you on track for staying creative over the summer so um, that's really what my focus is um, and I want to get walking and get swimming the weather here has been gorgeous and it's just changed a little bit in the last while but um, I think it'll it'll calm down again it'll be nice again coming into July fingers crossed when it's my birthday um, and I never thought I'd actually be able to have a birthday party within the first year of moving somewhere new because I thought you know I'm not gonna have any friends within the first year but I got me a tribe <laughs> so I'm gonna have a birthday party um, and I'll have people to invite which is quite cool uh, so that's basically it for me from the, the coast of Northern Ireland. Um, all is good. Thanks for checking in. And uh, I look forward to doing another one of these um, in the next couple of weeks. Bye.